Nollywood actress Omotola gets sexually explicit for her first movie after three years and King Sunny Ade inducted into the Hard Rock Hall of Fame. Hey guys, my name is Samira and you're watching Pulse TV News. Nollywood actress Omotola gets sexually explicit for her very first movie in three years called Auto Ego. Uh, I'm a lawyer. I'm successful. Yes, that's one, one of the personalities you created. The other personality, Roxanne, is going about doing all kinds of things. Oh, and I don't feel anything for the night. The movie which stars Wale Ojo, Tinambai, Bobby Obodo, Kunle Remy, Esther Eyibio, Francis Ochi, Elvina Ibru, among others, has a scene as shown in the trailer where Omotala gets naughty with the actor Wale Ojo. The actress had spoken to Hip TV earlier this year talking about the movie that was meant to bring her back to the big screen after three years. In her own words, she said, Oh my God, Alter Ego is amazing. Um, for a very long time, I couldn't find a script that um, appealed to my, to my every, you know, I got to a point in, in Nollywood and in filmmaking where the more I went out of the country and, um, you know, mixed with my colleagues internationally, I began to understand how much people respected my brand and what they expected of me. Because when you're back here, you just get caught up in your normal stuff. You know, you don't really understand how um, big or should I say how much people expect of you. And so you're in your feelings or in your normal, you know. So I'm doing my normal Nollywood movies and all of that. But when I'm with people, I see how much they expect of me and what they want of me. And I needed to get back to that. It was like a reset for me. And so it wasn't easy. And because every year you have somebody asking you, Omotola, are you not doing movies again? Why are you not in movies? But I said to myself, until I find that project, it doesn't have to be um, a multi-millionaire project, but when I find that movie and that setup and that character that, that inspires me, I don't mind even investing in it, but I'll, I'll do that, you know. And luckily, after three years or, or more, um, Alter Ego came along. I had to work with them on the script, but there was something there. I saw the director was very ready. He's a very agile, you know, wonderful guy. Um, the EP2 was ready. So I saw a crew for the first time in a long time. I have not seen that in Hollywood. Everybody's kind of like set in their ways. But I saw these guys who are ready to just, you know, push boundaries. And I'm ready with them. And we're, we're, we're making magic. We're making magic. It's amazing. Well, I definitely cannot wait to see the movie or the raunchy scene that Omotala had to do with Wale. Now, onto the music scene, veteran juju music maestro King Sunny Ade has officially become the first Nigerian to join the Hard Rock Cafe Lagos Music Memorabilia Collection at the induction ceremony in Lagos on the 30th of November 2016. The event which held at the Hard Rock Cafe Lagos had King Sunny Ade donate some rare items from his collection including a vintage Fender guitar, shoes and album cover. King Sunny Ade shared, and I quote, I am thrilled to be the first Nigerian musician to donate personal items to Hard Rock's world famous collection and to be showcased alongside other legendary artists, said King Sunny Ade. For me, this is more than just a ceremony, it's an opportunity to pass on a cultural legacy and inspire new generations of musicians around the globe. Other greats who are also on the Hard Rock showcase include Michael Jackson, The Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, The Beatles, Elvis Presley, Brian Wilson, and Elton John, amongst others. Well, a big congratulations to the legend, and this definitely goes to show how this year, 2016, has been a major year for Nigerian artists internationally. That's the news for now. For more news, visit our website and follow us on all our social media platforms. My name is Samira, and you're watching Pulse TV News.